you know, as marketers and business people, the numbers matter, of course. And so you're going to look at things with any continuity, obviously, like how you retain, what's your churn, any, any ascension, things like that. And I'm sure that I imagine that that creating what feels like a true real community solves 80% of any kind of churn or ascension problem or question naturally. I'm also assuming that you've also learned a bunch of tricks about that, you know, yeah. in increasing, decrease, all, all those different things. Is there any, any tidbit you could share with that in terms of uh, just little insights? Because I, I'm sorry to keep add, adding to my own question here, no, but what good. I, what I think happens is we have these internet marketing funnel building people who come in and they're blessed with this skill set of acquisition mm. at speed and typically at break even, which is not normal in the rest of the business world. And they put that firepower in front of all these different things. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's like this messy creation phase. And now they're turning, everyone's turning to continuity. And so it just makes me think like, what are you seeing in terms of how the stereotypical internet marketer would answer the churn question? Yeah, yeah. And you would look at it and go, okay, that seems like it's natural, but that's going to suck. I promise you, I've been down that road. <laughs> Does that make sense what I'm asking? <laughs> so yeah, I worded yeah, that so, really weird and long. <laughs> no, I just have so many thoughts. So I'm trying to like give it the most concise. So it's I funny. Because, it's all good. No, no, it's good. It's <laughs> funny because you said something and I'm like, I literally have a Voxer this morning. I shared it with some of my team because the superpowers you were just talking about, I don't think I have those. And so I'm like, somebody just left the box. They're like, oh, I did this fun little three-day challenge. It was a small, it was like 300 people on it. And I made a million dollars today. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, I just don't have that skill. And that's where I was like, you you sure. obviously possess that skill. And I'm like, I, I need to like figure that out. Okay. But on the back end, the continuity we've played for a long time, you know, multi-millions of recurring revenue. Yeah. I mean, our, our revenue literally doesn't change her maybe, you know, that's the ups and downs, right? The plus and minus is that it's very consistent. So I don't have the big jumps because I don't have big end offers in it, but I also don't have the typically big drops off, drop off city either. So wow. within five to $7,000, I know exactly where I'm going to be every month, right? Maybe that sounds like a big window, but we got thousands of people, so it's not. But I think some of the things that seem, and it's hard because maybe I'm, I'm, bowing out of the question. I hope you don't feel that way, but like, I don't even know what the natural marketer says or thinks in that. So I don't mm -hmm. know what they're coming at it from, because that's not really the world I've played in where I look at the retention and the churn is like where we have that retention and churn is like, it's actually, sometimes it's external factors for other people. They're like, they have something in the economy has changed and their, their business has shifted. And so they're, they're looking to change. I have found that if we can do a couple of things, our, our retention is high. One is we have to get them a mutual connection inside our network within the first 30 days. If we mm. can help them facilitate some connection. And so for people who have membership sites only, if you will, and they're, they're not connected to somebody else in it, I don't know how you have long-term retention because people want to be connected, right? You remember the yeah. show, um, remember the show Cheers? I don't know if that dates us, but like the show cheers, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Norm walks in the bar. What happens? Everyone's like, Norm, right? And the song is even the, some the chorus is like, where you want to go where everyone knows your name, right? That's what people are longing for. I mean, there's all kinds of statistics right now that show that we're in the biggest digital age and it's the most lonely time of, of history. People feel the most lonely. Yeah. The, the surgeon general just put out an 85 page report about the, epidemic of loneliness. How's that possible? Huh. And so if we're building membership and we're not connecting people, then we're always going to have a retention challenge. But if you connect them, people will stay. If they have, think about it this way, think about gyms, right? I just switched gyms and I went to a new gym and they walk me through the whole thing. Right. But at the end, of course, they're connecting me to other coaches and things. And then they're like, in this, in this section, we have this class, we have this class over here. We have this class and this class. We're going to give you 30 days of free classes. Why? Because I know if in a class I make a connection, I meet somebody at the gym, I'm, you know, a, another lifting buddy, something like that. I'm more likely to stay there, right? Because you, you make friends at the gym. That's, I think, one of the retention things that I think when I'm working with other businesses gets missed is that connection piece. That is, I think, the most awesome answer I've ever asked because that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I, even in the book Tribe, Seth Godin, doesn't he say also that there's never been a time in human history 
where we've been detribing so much. So yeah. give them that. And that's fascinating because I think through some of the groups that I've maintained membership in, I'm not really getting that much out of the out of the meat of why you're lured there in the first place, but why I stay is the yep. community and the connection piece. And weirdly enough, that has to be facilitated in our age. <laughs>